governments fear their people because they know that um, what they're doing, that what the governments are doing, are out of line with the values of the people, um, and uh, and they know that those people have reason to overthrow them. Um, I think uh, a government that's actually receptive to the needs of its own people um, is not afraid of its own people, um, and and we don't have many of those governments right now, um, and uh, and so we have. This, this tension between people and their governments. Um, and, and I think part of that stems from um, a, a lack of participation and a lack of ownership that, that people feel for, for their governments. Um, that uh, when, when people really feel like uh, their government is something that they've established, that it's their government, um, they, they're not really a threat to, to their government, um, they're they're more a, a participant uh, and a partner. Um, but when when people feel like their government is something that is imposed upon them, either by force or by uh, some outside actor like by imper American imperialism, uh, or or simply by the momentum of history, um, as in this country. Um, where, where people are very removed from our active creation of our own government. Um, I think anytime people feel like their government is imposed upon them, um, they're more naturally a threat to that government um, because uh, there's not a clear pathway to um, a, a participatory, uh, cooperative sort of relationship with the government. Um, but it's more uh, a tension between two different actors um, that have two very different goals.